So all you tea partiers out there, remember this little letter from Harry Reid, Nevada, the majority leader, United States Senate, office of the majority leader, Washington, D.C., 220510, October the 2nd, 2007. To Mark P. Mays, CEO, Clear Channel Communications Incorporation, 200 East Bass Road, San Antonio, Texas. Dear Mr. Mays, at the time we signed this letter, 3,808 American soldiers have been killed in Iraq and another 28,009 have been wounded. 160,000 others awoke this morning on foreign soil far from home to face the danger and uncertainty of another day of war. Although Americans of goodwill debate the merits of this war, we can all agree that those who serve with such great courage deserve our deepest respect and gratitude. That is why Rush Limbaugh's recent characterization of troops who oppose the war as phony soldiers is such an outrage. Our troops are fighting and dying to bring to others the freedom that may take for granted. It is unconstitutional conscionable that Mr. Limbaugh would criticize them for exercising fundamental American right to free speech. Mr. Limbaugh has made outrageous remarks before, but this affront to our soldiers is beyond the pale. And it's spelled P-A-L-E. The military, like any community within the United States includes members both for and against the war. Senior generals such as General John Batiste and Paul Eaton have come out against the war while others have publicly supported it. In a December 2006 poll conducted by the Military Times found that 35 percent of military members approved of Bush's handling of the war in Iraq compared to 42 percent who disapproved. From the figure alone, it's clear that Limbaugh's insult is directed at thousands of American soldier service members, active and retired members of the United Forces, have and a unique perspective on the war and offer a valuable contribution to our national debate. In August, seven soldiers wrote an op-ed expressing their their concern with the current strategy in Iraq. Tragically, since then, two of the seven have made the ultimate sacrifice in Iraq. Thousands of active troops and veterans who subjected to Limbaugh's unpatriotic and undefensible comments on your broadcast, we must, we trust you will agree that not a single one of our sons, daughters, neighbors, and friends serving overseas is a phony soldier. We call on you to publicly rebuke these comments and call into question the service and sacrifice to ask Mr. Limbaugh to apologize for his comments. And that's Harry Reid. And that's Senator Dick Durbin. And that's Senator Charles Schumer. That's Senator Patty Murray. Tom Hassel, Josh Reed, Alan Lombardi, Swan Boom or something, Hillary Rodham Clinton, Barack Obama, that one there, Brett. To make a long story short, Webb, 40 of them signed on this paper to a bald-faced lie because Mr. Limbaugh never called a real soldier a phony soldier. He did comment on phony soldiers, but tell you rest of us Tea Partiers that this is the kind of links that they will go to to destroy anybody, and they're working on you right now with their racism and 
hatred comments and throwing everything they can to anybody who is against these people right here. That guy. And that guy. Look at his name, though. Barack H. Obama. And Hillary Rodham Clinton.